Arnold. What? You got a parcel. A parcel? Let's undo it, shall we? Hi guys, welcome back to Kings Aquariums and that world. In today's video we have been sent a parcel from a well known YouTuber and his name is Graham from Aquarium Adventures. I will link all his details in the description below. So let's check out and see what we've got. What do you think it is then, Sat? Sat's behind the camera anyway. Hey! <laughs> oh wow! Got Graham on his Aquarium Adventures sticker, which will be going on the King's table. And look at the packaging. So here we have some micro pellets. We also have some krill flake. We have some sort of sticky spirulina pellets and we also have some bug flakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to try these out on the 125 mini tank, uh, the Benzis fry, uh, the 105 litre, we've obviously got the Malawis and the Odessas, and we're going to do a couple of the tanks down in the quarantine section. So, yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. Just want to take this time to thank Graham for sending us out four of his amazing products, and also one of his stickers, which is now on the King's table. So without further ado, thank you very much and let's get on to the video. So we're now going to feed the Odessa barbs some of the sticky spirulina pellets. So I think I'm going to give them two of them because they're gannets. And... Hey, get off my fingers. <laughs> Get off my fingers. And they'll try to work it out. It will slowly break down. Um, the more longer it's been in, in the water, but they seem to be enjoying it anyway. It's quite fascinating to watch them, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're at the uh, 125 community tank and we are going to try some of the grill flake. So, let's see if they come to this. This is the grill flake, lovely colour to it. And I reckon the Buenos Aires Tetras will go absolutely wild. <laughs> Here comes Rose and Seth, so... I put it near the outtake so it then disperses throughout the tank, so everyone gets a chance to have some. the opaline gourami up the top here, let's get in some. Uh, we've got the gold gourami who's right at the back. Now get the sun, obviously rose. So yeah, another um, big thumbs up. Okay, so we're going to carry on with the sticky spirulina pellets because I think the Propenza's fry will go absolutely wild for them. So I'm just going to give them two. And we shall see how they take to them. 
one. There's two. Once I move away from the tank, they will come up and draw them out. Fingers crossed. They're slowly rising. They've never had ones like this before, have they? No. So it's all new. There's some particles coming off them, which yeah. they are going for. They just need to realise they've got to come up a bit. So as you can see, they are now starting to come up as the two um, stick on tablets release the food and yeah they are enjoying them uh, they do seem to last a lot longer than other branded um, stick on tablets that we've used before so yeah very uh, impressed so far Colors are coming out, they are coming out really well So we're at the 105 community tank, so we're going to try some of the micro pellets. So let's just get this bag opened. I must say, I'm very impressed with the uh, the packaging. So let's just give you an idea what they look like. And let's see. How they all react. I like that they are fast sinking as well. Um, so that's great. The rum nose, the red phantoms, the black skirt tetras, there's a black phantom in here. There's an odd neon. Uh, you've got the Chinese algae are going absolutely wild as well for them. Um, but again, very good product. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend the uh, the nano pellets or the micro pellets, shall I say? You can just see the colours coming out of them already. It is absolutely insane. This is the first time they've ever tried anything like this. Okay, so you want to calm down? So seriously, chill out, chill. <laughs> right, so we're going to try some of the bug flakes, these hungry little piranhas. So this is the bug flake. Mm. So let the feeding fest begin. Wow. There's never a dull moment when it's the uh, Malawi's feeding. Uh, they are just like piranhas. So we mainly got yellow labs, um, we've got a Fontosa, we've got a scraper mode, we've got a um, electric blue hat, and there's a couple of various other species in there, along with some Cynodontus catfish. Um, but Malawi's never turned anything down, so that it did look real good quality food, um, and it's got insect meal in it, so that's all all good for the Malawis, to be fair. Yep. So we are now at the quarantine tanks. So in here we have four keyhole cichlids. We have two juvenile. Um, German Blue Rams, there is an adult bristle nose. In here we have two uh, juvenile angelfish, a male probensis, and there is a female bear in here. And we are going to feed them some of the uh, bug flakes. So, here we go. Some in here. And 
they seem to be coming up to the surface to get some, which is all, which is very good to see. Uh, got German blue rams, they're coming up as well. So every fish so far seems to enjoy the uh, bug flakes, which is good. So we'll just go and feed these guys over here. <laughs> the angelfish are trying to get to the uh, to the other tank where the uh, keyholes are. <laughs> it's on the other side, look. It's this side. Ah, uh, one of them's gonna notice, yep. Female better's now getting so much to look good. Uh can't see the Quibens is anywhere. He's at the back. He's at the back, is he? He is eating. Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. How are the keyholes doing they doing alright? Yep, they're going nutty. They're loving it. <laughs> So another big thumbs up. Okay, so we are at Safi's Atlantic Bar Mud Skipper Tank. It has uh, one lone black molly. We'll just go and try one of these stick on tablets and see how it goes. <laughs> Straight away. Oh, someone else has uh, noticed. So who's this one? That one's Phyllis. So we've got Phyllis here, and Spot is hiding. Yeah, we don't know where Spot is, but the Molly seems to be enjoying them anyway. Uh, we've also got some Neuroid snails in here, so they're probably having a little go. Um, but yeah, here, here's the one, little fillers. Molly is very happy. Mm, definitely. Oh, can't really see. Open up. Hello, Spot. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> yes. Also, a great feature, packaging is this ziplock and also the foil inside so zip it up just like so and it keeps the fish food nice and fresh and another great feature is the quality of the packaging none of this flimsy luck where you Put it away and then you grab it and it tears and food goes everywhere. This is well made. Okay, so we have Safi here. She's just gonna give you guys her honest opinion on the products that we were sent by Graham. So take it away. Well, they all look really good and the fish, all the fish's colours have come out like crazy with them. And the I love that they have insect meal because obviously it's very natural for them and the micro pellets and the bug flakes also have garlic in them which is good for their digestion as well and everything so a lot of natural good products in there all to enhance the digestion and life and health of your fish and their colours so do you highly recommend that our subscribers go and purchase some of these products? I do, so go to the description now so guys it's been an hour and you can still see some residue of the sticky pellets it took an hour for them to finish them all off and they didn't like fall down or anything and you get to see our cute little bristle nose up here he's been having some as well so they are super good and you should go and check them out
So, Graham from Aquarium Adventures is now going to be placed on the King's Table. Look at that. Right next to the decay. Always for you, please hit that like button, think about subscribing, comment down below of what tank you enjoyed most. Uh, I think everyone's going to go for the Malawis for some reason. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification so you don't miss out on future content. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.